So this is Soul and Leo. We're going to look at some energies for you, general energies for the week, starting October 24th, ending October 30th, 2022. The messages will be for Leo suns, moons, rising, uh, venuses, singles, couples, same-sex loving energies. Leo, I hope all is well. I'm back to using the Victorian Romantic Tarot deck to do your energies. There are some reversals here, Leo, uh, but very few, so don't be overly concerned about that. Also, um, to complement these energies or the reading for you, I'll be throwing some cards from the Kipper deck and then looking at work, career, money, and finance from the money, work, career, finance, oracle deck for you. Okay, so let's begin the energies for you, Leo. Let's see what is potentially coming up. Energies for Leo. Three good cuts, and we're going to start your messages, Leo. Okay, so in presentation, we have um, Page of Swords, new conversation. Somebody's interested in you. This is somebody new. You may or may not know this person, but they're checking you out on social media. It could be a neighbor, could be a co-worker. Strength card, your own energy shows up here, Leo. Isn't that something? Feeling courageous and powerful. Three of Cups, there's a need to celebrate someone's birthday, anniversary, or just getting together with family members and friends and just having uh, to enjoy each other's company. What you give, you get back. Okay, Seven of Wands, uh, when the decision-making uh, energies come to you, Leo. You stick to your guns. This is standing your ground. Also, if you don't do that and you succumb to your own energies or the energies of other people persuading you to change your mind, uh, then this is my uh, regret card. So don't do it. So whatever you plan to do uh, this week in terms of, um, you know, moving forward with uh, something that you've decided upon and taken action against, you stick with it. Um, lovers. Major Arcana, the lovers, that's a blessing. Okay, we already, we already know what the lovers is all about. That's partnerships, uh, sharing each other's um, energies. You know, it could be family members. It could be business partnerships. It could be uh, romantic, definitely. Definitely uh, platonic energies, okay? Just being on the same page, seeing eye to eye with one another. Now we have the Major Arcana, the moon. So, so far you got one, three Major Arcanas. The moon is Revelations. So the person who may have an interest in you uh, with the Page of Swords over top of that moon, then this week may be revealed or they may let themselves uh, know that they have an interest in you. Okay, because normally it's just the start or the initiation or they could have been, you know, uh, checking up on you a while or for a while, but then not really taking action. Uh, but because the moon is the stronger aspect of the energy here, then whoever this person may be may reveal that they have some sort of interest um, in you, Leo, okay? And I'm specifically talking about romance because when we're talking about platonic friends, they don't do the sneaky stuff. I'm not really sneaky, but they don't do all of the weird stuff. Um, either you become friends or you don't, but they don't do investigative work or anything like that or spying or just to become a friend. No, this is more romantic energy that I'm feeling. So we have the major arcana, the moon, uh, revelation, secrets being exposed, Following that, we have the Justice card. So you have um, four major arcanas now. Wow, and this is just for a week. Justice will be served. This is uh, energy that balances things out. This is a card of independence, liberty, and freedom. Um, someone could be just working for the justice system. Whatever it is um, that you got going on in forms of litigation is going to be in your favor. Always pick up uh, workman's compensation uh, with the justice card. Justice card, following that is the uh, hermit, another one. Wow. So the hermit is going into hermit mode, maybe having to um, do some introspection. Basically, it could be just, you know, Leos who are good at meditating. That could be the, all that it is. Having to disconnect your energies on a temporary basis. Just spend time alone. Me time, downtime, alone time. I don't want to be bothered time. It's only temporary. And if you have to go in uh, and do some introspection, then, you know, to think about something uh, or if something is pressing on you, uh, you'll come out with the uh, answer that you have went 
to seek within and a, um, hopefully a better perspective on the energies. All right. So that's the major arcana, the hermit. We have the seven of cups. Okay. That's look, you got the moon and the seven of cups. If anybody has followed me and my channel and watched my videos, I said that the moon and the seven of cups is always for me in terms of my interpretation that somebody goes deeper into expressing their form of love for you now, but because this is an open general reading, it's not a specific, you know, love reading here. This could be family members. This definitely could be friends. And we're talking about romance as well. So we have a double energy of someone going deeper in terms of their expression. So whenever I get this, Leo, it's like they're either falling in love or they are, you know, expressing themselves that they are in love with you. Okay. Now that could be with current uh, partnerships. Maybe, you know, that uh, energy of I love you has never been expressed. You maybe have been waiting for it or whatever. You weren't really sure how they felt. Well, these two cards here will let you know how they feel. And then you have the blessing, the blindsided blessing of the lovers here to support the seven of cups in the moon when it comes to those emotions of the other people who you are connected to. Last card uh, we have for you is judgment. Well, look, one, two, three, four, five. You have six major arcanas. Leo, this is some serious energy. What's been hidden comes to the surface. And look, it mirrors the moon, revelation. So again, it could be the person who you have an uh, interest in, a crush on. Uh, I did, you know, put a little bit of energy together with the connection of the page of swords up top over the moon that somebody has an interest in you, but they may reveal who they are and then let you know how, you know, if they are been checking you out, you know, how deep the energies are running for them. This here is about, um, discovering things about yourself uh, that you didn't know before. It could be discovering things about other people that you didn't know before. And keep in mind, Leo, it doesn't have to be negative. This is a card that is about spiritual awakening. Some of you could be experiencing spiritual epiphanies. Um, you're, you know, spiritually protected. You're spiritually guided as well. You just don't want to do any judgmental stuff towards yourself, criticize yourself, be harsh towards yourself. You don't want to pass that energy off to other people that you are connected to because the judgment is my karma card. What you put out there, Leo, you're going to get back. All right. So always interact with people in a positive way. Keep your thoughts positive and you will always get that in return. So the shadow energy here is the Ace of Swords, Victory and Success. And what I've done with Cancers is I pulled the three cards from the shadow. I think I'm going to start reading three cards and giving you additional shadow energy. So we're going to start with the Ace of Swords just to get that energy out of the way. And then we're going to go here and see what's going on here with this story, this beautiful uh, energy with six major arcanas. Ace of Swords, Victory and Success, Seeking Excitement, Adventure. First actions, first moves, decision making, gaining clarity, also speaking your truth. Okay. The Ace of Swords represents air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Six of Pentacles, an apology is forthcoming. A gift may be received. This is still um, anything uh, connected to pay raises. So some of you may be getting pay raises. Um, Six of Pentacles is Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. The Emperor is part of your energies, Aries specifically, but it's all about you being in control, Leo. You have the support of your own energy, the Strength card, okay? Being powerful, feeling empowered, courageous, you know, and this also to a sexual energy, sexual expression. Um, so feeling strong, nothing that's going to uh, prevent you from doing whatever it is that you need to execute this week, no obstacles, nothing. You're just feeling your own energy. That is the strength card. And then you have the control of the emperor keeping everything for you in perspective. I could be just reading for some Leos who work in the uh, law and enforcement. This also is a card that um, would, you know, for me in terms of how I interpret it. Father figures who are no longer here, who may be connected to Leo, they just come to acknowledge. They may have law, uh, worked in law and enforcement themselves. Uh, this is a card of authority, so you also could be pushed into authority positions, uh, which could be, you know, permanent or temporary uh, bosses, managers, supervisors, so forth. Okay, so I like that the emperor. So you have the Ace of Swords in your shadow. 
in addition to your general energies, the Six of Pentacles and the Emperor. So what I've been doing was just holding the cards up so you can see, describing each one in terms of the energies and details, and then putting them right back in the deck, and then just putting the first card, which was the Ace of Swords, uh, on top. So just remember those energies here. All right, let's get into the story here for you this week. Where to begin, Leo? Oh my gosh, let's start with your own energy. So you have your own energy representing, and I love it when the sign specific, you know, specific energy represents, okay? Because that makes the energies stronger. So you have the strength, which reckon, you know, is what we're talking about. Having the strength, having the courage, being ferocious, feeling your own, your lion energy, okay? This is still a card that warrants passion, intensity, just feeling dynamic. So you have all of that to uh, help you along the way, but you don't have any cards here, energy, that depicts any struggles that you will, except for the seven of wands, which is part of your own energies. But remember when I said you have the uh, ace of swords, which is about first actions and decision, decision making that whatever you got going on or trying to, um, you know, implement this week, Leo, and what you've already decided upon, maybe, you know, with the hermit here going into hermit mode, thinking about what you need to do. Then once you come out with that decision and the action that you're going to take, you stick with it. OK, because this is my regret card. Don't you know, stand in your ground. Don't succumb to your own energies. Don't succumb to the others that may be connected to you, which could be family members, romantic partners and or friends could also be co-workers. All right. So that's your strength card, your own energy, um, major arcana. And, you know, that's part of Aries and Sagittarius as well. Page of Swords, I talked to uh, you about this briefly and made a connection with the moon. This is somebody who has an interest in you. There is new conversations um, in the absence of someone being interested in you, but you may be the one who starts some sort of new conversation or some others who come in and start new conversations with you. It could go either way. But normally I get the interest of someone um, that you may or may not know. This could be a coworker. This could be a neighbor. Um, this could be a friend of a friend. Someone has taken up some sort of interest towards you, Leo. And with the moon aspect underneath this, this is the revelations. They may come forward. Normally when the moon or the seven of cups doesn't show up for the energy, when the page of swords is, um, you know, present, then I just say they just are initiating or they're just beginning, but they're not going to reveal themselves just yet. So now you have the uh, moon and the seven of cups. So there could be this week, the energy may be fluid. So it may be extended throughout the week. Um, you know, going into, you know, the following week, going into November. Uh, so just, you know, be mindful of that, that if it doesn't occur this week, it may be the following week, but someone is definitely, you know, going to express some sort of feelings that, um, they have for you and the feelings have come about because they have been checking you out for a while. Now they don't have to be a younger energy. They could just be, the card just indicates that. Uh, of course, the pages are always about young energies, but the card in its messages in terms of my interpretation is that somebody has been newly thinking about you and, you know, having some sort of interest in you, picking up some sort of interest in you. And now because of the seven of cups, the moon, they may reveal that energy. Okay, so that uh, Page of Swords here represents uh, air, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. And mind you, the Page of Swords mirrors the lovers. OK, so that's unions, uh, platonic, romantic. So we're going to talk about the lovers now, Major Arcana. And you know what this is all about, seeing eye to eye with one another, being on the same page with one another. OK, so uh, business partnerships can be formed. Uh, everything just moving along accordingly to um, peace, harmony. Um, nothing's going on. Uh, nothing should be, you know, upsetting or disturbing this week for some of you. Again, you got the blessing of your own energy, the strength card, and then you have the blessing of the judgment card of being spiritually protected and watched over with. So this week is going to be, I think, super glorious for a lot of Leos out there. And I hope so, because, you know, it's just me interpreting the cards. This is just potential energies. But, you know, I always like to read the comments that come through and people tell me, well, you know, 
what I said came to pass. You know, that's what I like to hear. Um, but again, it's not going to touch and phase everybody. So, you know, just take the energies of what connects with you and then leave the rest alone. So uh, we talked about the lovers that represents Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I already talked about the Seven of Wands and what not to do. That's part of your energies, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. The moon is about Pisces, Revelations, uh, water energy cancer and scorpio and it's a uh, phase also to keep in mind the moon always aspects a change or a phase ending so there's um some you know some sort of phase that may be ending in your current life situation now a new moon uh, or a new phase of energy is about to open up. But you want to keep your level of emotions uh, even. So you want to strike a balance there because the moon has a tendency to, you know, to throw those emotions up real high. And you don't want to be up that high. Uh, and you don't want to be down too low because then that sets in depression, melancholy, and so forth. So you want to strike a balance, which I don't think that you'll have a problem this week in terms of the emotions. I feel that it's always the projection of energy uh, when I'm reading for you guys. And this is the energy that may relate to the story that I just told you about this person who has an interest in you. And then there's some sort of revelations. All right. So this is the moon, major arcana. Justice card is what it is. Spoke about that. Independence, freedom, um, could be working in uh, law and justice. Someone could be getting married in front of the justice of the peace. Workman's comp in your favor. Uh, anything that was out of favor to, uh, for you, Leo, now comes back into favor of the justice card. Things that were uh, uh, incorrect or wrong for you, now they are righted. <clears throat> This justice card represents Libra. The, uh, you have a lot of air energy here too. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. The hermit is a Virgo. It's neutral energy to me. Like I said before, you could be just simply meditating and that's all that you know you do and it works for you. Downtime, me time, alone time, don't bother me time. I just want a moment alone. It's only temporary. Whatever it is that you need to go within for, um, you know, if it's to think about something uh, that may be on your mind or anything like that, you're going to come out and arrive at the answer. You just need to, you know, be by yourself for a minute and then you ha might have a clearer, brighter perspective on handling whatever that you may have went within to see. Okay. So that is uh, Virgo, right? Hermit is Virgo and the other Earth energies, Taurus and Capricorn. Seven of Cups is a card of options. When I tell you that, you know, someone goes deeper into expressing themselves, it could be romantic, it could be crushes, it could be likes. Somebody, you know, in the family, it could be, you know, definitely platonic friends. We're not going to rule that out. But the Seven of Cups is um, that type of energy that, you know, I always get that feel. It is a card of options, so there may be other options that open up to you, uh, Leo, this week. But just make sure that you are being very um, careful in terms of paying attention to your own intuition when there's choices to be made. You don't want to pick and choose the wrong thing to have it come back and, you know, haunt you or bite you in your ass. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces represents that Seven of Cups. Already talked about the Judgment card, all right? So this completes your uh, energy for the week and most impressive as far as I'm concerned. Three of Cups I didn't talk about, so let's talk about that. That's celebrations, uh, birthdays, anniversaries, spending quality time with significant others. It could be children. It could be almost anything. A need to go out and, um, you know, happy hour, for, you know, with coworkers or something like that just to celebrate uh, enjoying the company that you keep. It's not an even number of cups, but still the energy that you give to others is the same energy that you are going to get back. All right. Something to celebrate about. Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces represents that three of cups. Now I think I've covered all the cards uh, and I like to jump around and make connections and um, so while I'm shuffling here, Leo, I want to see if I want to add to anything that I didn't pick up, um, from the energies here being present. Damn, six major arcana. Also, too, just to uh, let you know that the um, the lovers mirrors the page of swords, but the moon cross mirrors the lovers. So then somebody goes into a deeper aspect of their feelings. Now, you could already be with people 
Leo, you know, the person that, you know, you've been with. And but there's something that may um occur during this week specifically where there's if it could be something that is possible, like a greater depth of love being expressed. Now, mind you, you know, because I do the projection of energy coming onto you, Leo, you could be the one that, you know, expresses yourself as well. So I don't want to rule that out. So anything is possible here. I'm just looking at all of the fantastic energy here for you guys. All right. So first card is uh, official person. Official person would be like the emperor. Um, you know, the, you know, having to do or deal with official business. It also could have a connection to the justice card, dealing with courts. Um, so, yeah, it could be police officers. So I feel that some of you may be dealing with someone who is official this week in some manner next card up is the uh unexpected income that is always welcome so there could be a unexpected resource of income uh coming in for you guys money money is always welcome following that we have the message message is always about um communication so you could be receiving a message you are going to begin getting a message now the message can come in a text form you know, it could be a phone call. It could be something in the mail that you're waiting for. But we don't know what is contained in the message. So I usually lean towards positive. Uh, so think positive and maybe something positive uh, arrives or comes to you. There's some sort of communication. Um, definitely, Leo. Okay. And it could be <laughs> the person communicating. Uh, if they go that route, you know, writing letters and Letting you know how they feel about you. People still do that. I'm, I don't. I don't know. Child is uh, anything related to something that is started new. Not necessarily a child. It could be a birth of a child, but it's usually child and Lenormand or and Kipper is usually about something at the beginning stages. Okay, something is about to start. Now you could connect that with the uh, Page of Swords again. A new relationship is about to begin. The child always represents uh, purity and innocence, but it's always something to start. Something new is about to begin. Shadow energy for you is uh, family room. Okay, whenever I get to family room, it could be someone working on possibly, it could be an addition or someone just rearranging furniture in their family room, adding furniture to the family room, having talks in the family room, whatever this family room means for you. Okay, so that's not bad discussions okay so uh fine yeah work finance Let's see what's going on here for you guys when it comes to your work career and money finances wow i like this spread for you leo mm. it's like one of the best ones that i've done for you so far in a while Lovers, Three of Cups. Your own energy. First message is uh, unrealistic. This one says your expectations in the future are unrealistic and need revision. Perhaps your vision is big and may require a plan and need more careful thought. You could be setting yourself up for failure if you don't set realistic financial goals. Okay, maybe somebody needed to hear that. Ask for help. Consider asking for help with regard to your financial problems. Look at your financial situation from a new perspective. You still have some resources remaining. All right. Third card for you, Leo, is the people you spend the most time with shape who you are. And the shadow energy is mistakes. This one here says a past mistake left you financially insecure and unsure what to do. Your current financial situation was your own doing. Accept responsibility for it. Learn from your mistakes and let it go. You will get through it. All right. So there we go. That's what I have for you this week. Uh, Leo, please give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Whatever you do this week, do it well. Do it uh, safely. Keep smiling for me. And remember, this is just me interpreting the cards. I hope it is useful for you. And uh, I will talk to you real soon. Take care. Bye.